All right, Google Slides, how can you get up and running quickly? Well, in this video, we're gonna help you do exactly that. So let's get started right now. All right, so Google Slides is a program to help you make multimedia presentations, also known as slide decks. So we're gonna create a presentation now and learn some basic skills along the way. First skill, navigate to Google Slides. You might already have a shortcut to get to Google Slides, but if not, then you can always get to Google Slides by going to slides.google.com. And that brings us to the Google Slides homepage. Now, if you're already using other Google Workspace apps like Google Docs, then a lot of this will look very similar to you. At the top, there's a search bar to help you find your presentations. And then below that, you have a section to help you start a new presentation. And then further down, you've got your collection of presentations. So we're gonna go back up here to click on blank presentation with the plus icon to get started. And now we have a blank Google Slides presentation. So let's take a quick look to learn the Google Slides interface. On the top left is your file name, and we'll add one in just a bit. And then below that, you've got your menu. If you click on any of the menu items, then you'll see a submenu for each item. And then right below the menu is the toolbar. Now, if you're ever looking for a toolbar item and you're not finding it, you might be working on a smaller screen like a laptop screen. So you'll wanna click on the three vertical dots and that will reveal the hidden toolbar items. Now down below is the first slide, which is basically blank for the moment. And then over on the left is a section with your thumbnails that show representations of all of your slides. And we've only got one slide right now, so we've only got one thumbnail. And then over on the right, you've got a menu of options to choose a theme. So here you can click on the different theme options to see if there's one that you really like. But keep in mind that you can always change the fonts and colors after you choose a theme. And if you wanna keep the most flexibility as far as how your slide deck is going to look, then you'll wanna choose one of the simple themes up at the top. So in this case, let's choose simple light, and then let's close the theme window. We click on the X on the top right, and that gets it out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna make this presentation about magnets. It could be a teacher presentation for a lesson, or it could also be a student presentation. So either way, we need to name the document. And we do that by clicking in the field for the file name, and then we'll type magnets. And then let's start with this first slide, which is going to be a title slide. And the slide you can see has started for us. We've got some placeholders for title and subtitle. So we'll follow the prompt to click to add title, and we'll type magnets. And in this case, we'll say that we don't actually need a subtitle, so we'll delete that text box. We do that by clicking on the edge of the box and then hit delete or backspace on the keyboard. Okay, so we've got a title, but nothing else, and it's looking pretty boring right now. So let's make the slide more interesting by inserting an image. And inserting an image is very common in Google Slides. So there's a dedicated toolbar icon to insert an image. And if we click on that, we have a submenu. And let's move down and click the option for search the web. And that opens up a side panel on the right where you can find and insert images directly in Google Slides. So in the search field, let's enter magnets. And there's an image with an assortment of magnets. That could be good. So let's just click on that. And then we need to move down to the bottom and click on insert. Okay, and maybe you will wanna make this image bigger. To do that, we need to grab one of the handles on the corner of the image. So we click, hold, and drag to resize the image. And right away, we can see that we've got a little problem that we need to solve because the image is covering up the title. So that brings up something important to know about Google Slides. So any slide consists of objects that can actually stack on top of each other. So those could be text boxes, images, shapes, or even videos. And you can move them around, you can resize them, and you can change the order of that stack, which is in front and which is in back. So that's what we need to do. We need to arrange the items on this slide. And the first thing we'll do is move this text to the front of the stack. To do that, we need to select the text box. 
click somewhere on the boundaries of the box, or we could also click and drag over the box. And now that's selected. Then we move up to a range in the menu, click on it, and then move the pointer down to order, and then move it over to choose either bring to front or bring forward. And that brings it in front of the image. And then we can just move things around a little until we like that arrangement. Okay, now before we move on from this slide, let's add a little style to the title and format the text. So we'll start by selecting the text. You get your cursor at one end of the text, click, hold, and drag over the text. Now to format this text, we'll work in this area of the toolbar. We can change the font, the font size, font style, or the color. So let's change the font itself. If you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see a list of fonts with a preview of how it looks. So let's choose one of these. And then let's make the text bold. And to do that, we move over to this section in the toolbar and click on B for bold. And then finally, let's change the text color. We click on the text color item and choose a color. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. All right, real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. All right, now it's time to add a new slide. And we can do that by clicking on one of these two items in the toolbar. If we click on the plus sign, that will automatically add a basic slide with a title and a big text box. But let's say that we want some different options. Let's undo that by clicking on the undo icon in the toolbar. And then let's look at the other option for adding a slide. It's this little arrow here, which lets you choose from a bunch of different layouts, including a blank slide, if that's what you want. And that option with the title and the big text box is actually a good option for us. So let's choose that. And then right away, you can see that there's a new thumbnail for slide two. And notice that you can easily navigate to any slide by clicking on its thumbnail. Plus, you can change the order of slides by doing click, hold, and drag. Okay, so in this new slide, we wanna start presenting some information. So we'll start with an opening question. What is a magnet? And then a definition. A magnet is a special object that can attract certain materials. And let's do a little formatting to make this slide match what we did on the title slide. So we can work on these text boxes one at a time, but we can also work on them at the same time if we select both of them. And we do that by clicking and holding outside of the boxes and then dragging over both of them. So we can change the font. And then we can also adjust the font size over here. And the question will change the color and make it bold. And then let's insert another image. Now maybe we wanna put it over here on the right, but we do have this text box here. So let's make a little room for the image. So we can just click and hold and drag this handle on the right. And then we'll go to insert image, search the web. And this time we might just want one magnet. So let's see what happens if we just search for magnet instead of magnets. And this one looks pretty interesting and it's actually attracting some objects. So let's try that. And maybe just a bit of arranging and that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's say that we want to ask a question about what our audience knows about magnets and we want it to appear with all this information. Now we could add an animation to make a new text box appear but that would be a topic for a different video. So what we can do right now is just duplicate this slide and then add a text box. So let's learn how to duplicate a slide. So you've got a couple of options. You can right click on the thumbnail of the slide you wanna duplicate and click duplicate, or go up to the menu, click on edit, and then click duplicate there. And now we've got an exact duplicate of the slide. Okay, now let's add that question. To do that, we need to add a text box. So we go to the toolbar and click on the text box icon. And you'll notice that nothing happened. 
except our cursor changed into a little cross. And that means that we can click, hold, and drag to make a text box exactly where we want it and how big we want it. So then let's write the text. What do you know about magnets? And that could be a turn and talk question or maybe it's an opportunity for someone to volunteer. And then we'll just add a little formatting. Change the font, resize it, change the color, and then let's put it in italics by clicking on the I. All right, let's see how all this is going to look when we present the slide deck. First of all, let's navigate to the first slide by clicking on the thumbnail for slide one. And then let's present the slide deck. To do that, we click on the slideshow button at the top. And that brings us to a full screen with the first slide. Then to advance to the next slide, we can click or press the space bar on our keyboard. And there's that question appearing. Now, if you want to go backwards, you can use the left arrow on your keyboard. And also, if you move your pointer to the bottom left of your screen, you have more options to go forwards, backwards, or choose a specific slide. And then to get out of presentation mode, we click on the escape key. All right, so we've got the beginning of a slideshow. When we're ready, if we want to share this slideshow, maybe we want to add a collaborator, we can share this document. And to do that, we click on the blue share button in the upper right corner and type the email address for anyone we want to share with. And now they have access. Okay, so that's enough to get started with Google Slides. There is a lot more that you can learn about Google Slides. For example, creating an animation, inserting a video. So if you want to learn more about Google Slides or other Google Workspace apps, you can check out the other videos on this channel. So we'll see you in the next video.